Alright, welcome back again. So it's time for the lab for this unit. So we've got a lot of skills now from our, our server time and from our movie quotes. But really it's when you do these things, uh, kind of on your own, that, that you get a lot out of them. Uh, the previous plan for the lab was a uh, weather picks matching. I'll, I'll hang on to that for some other time. But instead the lab we're doing is tic-tac-toe. Uh, so we're going to be making a, a tic-tac-toe uh, project that plays against a computer. Um, instead of the computer being like local with JavaScript, you're actually going to like do an Ajax get request to get the computer's move. Um, you're also going to be tracking wins, losses, and ties. Um, and you're going to be building the CSS as well. So let's go ahead and look at a, a demo uh, just so you've kind of got an idea. Uh, here's what the finished product will look like. When you start, uh, there won't even be buttons, right? So you're going to have to do a lot to make this, this lab work. Uh, but the way it works is, you know, you, you move and then the computer moves. Um, you know, you move, the computer moves. Oh, he blocked me there. Um, the computer is actually a terrible player. <coughs> he randomly picks a spot. Um, so it's actually trivially easy uh, to defeat the computer, right? So there, I won. Uh, I should have gotten a little sound for winning. Score is, you know, now humans with one win, uh, computers with no wins and no ties. Uh, if you click on new game, you know, a new game will start up. The computer, as mentioned, he makes random moves. It's actually really difficult to like get the computer to defeat you. Um, so there I succeeded in getting defeated by the computer. Uh, you can see there's a lot of little features too, right? So when you lose, the screen changes to, to like a red color. Uh, when you're playing, you know, it's this color. Uh, and then here I've got a demo. If you manage to tie, uh, it goes to a tie game color. So you can see that each time you win, lose, or tie, uh, the value of the human player wins, losses, or ties increments. You're also going to be building like a fake win button. Uh, so here's like a fake win. Uh, that, and this actually does an Ajax post. Uh, and then there's also a fake loss uh, and a fake tie. Uh, and then there's also a reset statistics. So those are the features that you're going to have to implement. Uh, as I mentioned, you're also responsible for the CSS for this, so you're going to be doing some review of some CSS. One of the big things is that, you know, the board has to remain centered, no matter how big or how small it gets. Uh, also, as soon as it gets below 600 pixels, so that happens right about there, um, you can see that the board changes size for the squares. Uh, and all these details will get spelt out in the lab, right? So I just wanted to kind of make you aware uh, of some of the features. Uh, there's also a little feature to where if you um, are in a small screen and you click on new game, uh, that drawer will go away automatically for you. Uh, so I just thought I would kind of introduce it to you, uh, let you kind of see the, the basic details. Obviously the lab has, has all the great gory details uh, and you can figure out all about this thing. Uh, by the time you finish the lab and get it submitted, right, you'll have finished a, a server time project, uh, a quiz for movie quotes, uh, and a tic-tac-toe, so you've done a lot of stuff uh, with this Ajax um, client side get and post and then the server side get and post handlers. You've also learned a ton of other skills, like we, we snuck a lot into this, this lecture. If we just wanted to show you just the Ajax stuff, it would have been much, much shorter, uh, but I like to use it as an opportunity to, to try to teach you a couple of things. And you can really see how there's a lot of value in this Ajax stuff. All right, that's it for this unit. Uh, go finish the lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye.